Coverage you can count on continues with Jessica Starbird Sports Report. The Concordia football team made history today just going to state for the first time ever, but the job was not done there with the cadets eyeing a state championship win. Concordia taking on Lawrenceburg in the 3A state title game. Cadets first possession, it's Peter Morrison. Pretty pass to Kamari Anderson. Drew, great catch, 62 yards for the score, and Concordia leads it 7 0. Later in the first, it's Moore Morrison on fourth and nine on the 32 to Anderson. Drew again, 14 0. Cadets lead now. Now you saw some offense. How about some defense? Kayani Griggs with the interception sets the Cadets up with nice field position. It led to this. It's Morrison. Scrambling a bit, he finds a wide open Peterson Curlegran, 18 yards for the touchdown, and it was 21 0 Cadets after the first quarter. Second quarter, more Concordia offense finds senior Drew Bordner. And Bordner gonna take off 70 yards to the house, and Concordia is up 28 0 and not done there. Morrison gonna avoid the pressure here. He finds Mark Mallers 38 yards. And Concordia leads it 35-0 at half. Now 42 zip in the fourth. It's Morrison to Mallers. A record-setting touchdown for Morrison. More on that in just a second. And Concordia is your 3A state champs with a 56-14 win. Glenn Marini was down in Indy for the game and has more with the state champs. Jessica, if you were a fan of offense and you were here for the 3A state championship game, you are in the right place. Concordia putting up 56 points in beating Lawrenceburg. They did it behind a record-setting performance from quarterback Peter Morrison. Morrison, 17 of 25 passing for 376 yards and six touchdowns. The 376, the most yards by a quarterback in a 3A state championship game. The six TDs, the most by a quarterback in any classification playing in a state championship. We're all business and we just try to score every single drive, you know. It isn't, you know, oh, we got to come out fast right now. It's, we're going to score every single drive. So the mindset from the first play to the last play is the same. Historical, man. I mean, no, no other Concordia team has done this. A lot have come close, and a lot of these coaches were on that team, and it just feels great to finish uh, what they've always been one dreaming to do. You know, it's like my first team I've ever won something with going back to, like, Little League and everything. So it's, it's just truly unbelievable. I was crying. I um, I don't know. I finally won a state championship with my brothers. I get to put that ring on my finger. I don't think I'm ever going to take it off. It means a lot. We've been working this hard since the beginning of the season. We knew we had a great team. We knew we can make it this far. We just had to do it, and we did. You need some things to happen. Uh, you need to get lucky from time to time. But we really kind of handled business in the playoffs. I mean, it's, it's a good group. They, they, did what they, they, they did what we asked them to do right down the line. So very proud of them. Now certainly Concordia fans will be celebrating all weekend and it comes to a head Monday at 2.30 at Concordia's gym where the Cadets will host a pep rally to celebrate the 3A state championship. Reporting from Lucas Oil Stadium, I'm News Channel 15 Sports Director Glenn Marini. Jessica, back to you.